1965 Silver Cloud 3. It was the uh, fifth from the last one produced when they were making the Silver Cloud before they went into the Silver Shadows and all that. It was custom built for a lady in New York City that was apparently short because all the pedals are raised up off the floor. And that's in the build book from the factory that they had to do it that way. And that was delivered to her in 1965. I'd always wanted the Silver Cloud 3 because the first Rolls Royce I ever drove was a Silver Cloud 3. My uncle had one. And uh, the whole time I had the 59, I was looking for one of these, pestering dealers all over the country. I found this one in Fort Lauderdale. What do you like about Rolls Royces? I don't know. Uh, I've liked them since I was a little bitty kid, always. Uh, my uncle's had probably a half a dozen of them and I just grew up around them and I just, I've always, you know, thought, what, of, thought about them. What do you like about this show? based on last year. You were here last year. Yeah, right? just the, the class of cars. There's some gorgeous automobiles out here. And uh, I'm not into hot rods and all that. My brother is. He's got bets, but uh, that's why I like this one, because there's just a lot of nice looking automobiles. How does this show compare to other shows you've been to? Oh, it's fabulous. I mean, like the car shows around town, and a lot of muscle cars, and all, which is fine, but that's just not what I'm into. This is really nice in the way it was put around the buildings and in the sidewalks, and they did a marvelous job. And the and the way that we were treated. I mean, this is one of the best car shows. You don't have to pay to enter. And you get beautiful prizes and they and feed you and give you stuff to drink. It's good.